Very nice. Are you vlogging? Yes, I'm vlogging. Oh. <laughs> Welcome We're... to his channel. Yeah. Hi, how are you going? What a view. I hope the GoPro picks this up. It's some view. You can see all over the south of the county. Morning everyone, Sunday morning, uh, the 19th of uh, February, and today I'm going to do the full Monty. I've done parts of the trails of the, uh, the Fort Mountain Three Rocks uh, Trail, but this time I'm going to do it from the very beginning, and we're going to go all the way to Ferry Carrick Bridge. So here's, the, here's where we are, right by Bod Bargy Commons, and we're going to walk all the way across Barrentown and to Ferry Carrick Bridge. So this will take about three to four hours it says and there's a lot of nice scenic uh, spots along the way. We'll stop and take a look at them. There's even a coffee shop at the top near the quarry where they're uh, in Fort Mountain. So let's see what today has to offer and stall for us. So as we're walking down this trail on this Sunday morning, just want to let you know what my plans are in the near future. So next week I have a Lions Club convention, which will take up my, most of the weekend. But the following week, I'm planning on walking from Wexford Town to Waterford City, which is about 65 kilometers. So I'm going to do it on a Saturday morning and then finish it off on Sunday. So my goal is to Try to find a couch surfing place in New Ross area for the Saturday night and then get going from there and walk in. And of course I'll vlog it. So if you want to see that and then of course we have the upcoming is the Paddy's Day Parade in the Falls Road. Um, already have my uh, accommodation booked in a guest house in the Gale Talk area in the Falls Road. So should be interesting. So stay with me. I'm gonna, I've got my plane, my bus, and my uh, train ticket already booked. So we'll just keep walking up this beautiful, well-kept trail in the Bargy Commons area, heading up towards Fort Mountain, and then we'll head down to Barrentown, and then across the Ferry Carrick. Okay, so we come up to this. Here's where it's telling you to go. We have carry foil that way. Furlong's Homestead, Skeeter Rock Point. We'll take a look at that first. That was posted on a tree as you're walking up. There's another one here. Is it the same thing? So we come to the first major thing uh, on the walk. Here we go. Fall to go Ross Skeetor. It's a Skeetor Point. Wow. This is definitely worth the walk. I'm going to show you around. It's a place where you can have a seat. Both sides. And then you have a compass in the center. And then, wow. What a view. I hope the GoPro picks this up. It's some view. You can see all over the south of the county. And then it has a sign where it tells you so. 13 kilometers of Rossler Point. You have Johnstown Castle you can see from here. Tower Rock Lighthouse. Arides Island. Tecumseh, Kilmore Key, Salty Islands. So if you go that way, 19 kilometers is Salty Islands. And then Bano Bay, Hookhead, 31. Wow. This is definitely worth taking a walk and a trip. Just the view. 
I don't know if he shows up, but wow. That is spectacular. Okay, let's follow the trail. And that's the back part of the view. Like, really stunning, stunning uh, view that you can see, and it's all free. You just have to walk up here. Morning. Definitely worth the walk. And then what do we have here? A couple little ferry doors. And then it says to the left. So it's well marked. There's another one of those little signs. Let's see what that says. They're all over the place. There's some more ferry doors. Here's another sign. And some more ferry doors. I wonder if it's a school project than that, because it looks like it's done by kids. And there's multiple scores of them. So I'd say so. It's very nice though. Thanks, Nick. Morning. Morning. Great place to go for a run. Oh, look at this little Terry Terry Doors Heaven. Look at them all. Wow. Very interesting. All these little fairy doors everywhere. Someone walking their dog. Morning. cottage we're coming up to now which is part of the uh, the Three Rocks uh, Trail so this is the uh, Furlong's homestead an old house it's a typical fourth mountain house uh, with two bedrooms uh, built of stone um, at a lower elevations um, Jim and Mary Furlong lived here and they also kept Donkeys and goats. Let's see, see if we can take a look at what's inside there. Wow, tiny. Is that considered a bedroom? Wow. And there'd be the hearth. Let me see if I can take a picture here. Okay, now we continue on from here. Good morning. So we'll continue on from here. Oh, under the back of the building here. Not much room. The uh, clouds are out, it's not raining, but it's quite warm, so it's a pleasant day for a walk. And there's all these fairy doors all over the place, and all these stumps. Yeah, see. wonder what they're about. If anyone knows in the comment section, let me know what these are all about. Was it a school project or what is it? I haven't seen any signs about it. Someone has a cup of tea there. It's a small Irish cup of tea, of course.
a lot of trees have been called here. Hope they're replanting them. Okay, we're walking up we come to another junction where it tells you to turn and where to go so it says to the right we're going to Carrigfoyle Lake and what's that dropping rock so we come up to here and we turn to the right and then like again they have the signs posted well and what's really cool is they give you the the distance so draw a drooping rock sorry is 800 meters and Carrickfoyle Lake is 28 so 2.8 kilometers so it gives you indication on where you are how far to your next place so very well indicated and marked and it's a leisurely walk beautiful to do on a Sunday morning clear your head up before you get back to work and like I said it's all free. And as we're continuing walking along the path, there's a clearing on the left here. And then you have a beautiful view of the countryside. I don't know if the gold floor is picking it up as much, but it is very scenic and very beautiful. Like it's just spectacular views. You can see the sun all the way up there breaking through the clouds. So. I think eventually when the clouds get burnt off, we'll be in, a, in for a sunny day. But it's some scenic views that you have along this path just on the outskirts of Wexford Town. So even if you're here on a holiday, I'd highly recommend taking a trip to this area and going for a walk. Like I said, you can walk to it from Wexford Town. You just start from the other end where we're gonna be finishing off and do it backwards. morning yeah some views says keep on going Raven Rock loop trail uh, loop trail length 400 let's go do this detour Raven Rock Loop Trail, it's only 400 meters. So, we'll see what that is. What it has to entail and then get back onto the main track. Okay, we're back from on the port where we turned off to go to the loop trail and we're back on to the main three rocks trail it's a very beautiful morning morning some nice rocks in the background there you see those towers I guess they're cellular towers ugly part of the scenery but I guess in this day and age we need it how else would your man upload videos if we didn't have the cellular towers for the Wi-Fi? There's another beautiful view as we walk down the trail. Look at it, just you can see the sun trying to break through over there, so there's no clouds about there. But it's a beautiful view as you walk down this trail.
Wow, this is very nice. Very serene. There's a little stream that's dried up that would come across and go down. It's very nice. Peaceful, peaceful walking in this part of the trail. And as we keep on going up the hill, that's where we're heading up to next. Now we're at the Drooping Rock. You can see that right there. See how it's leaning forward? And I stopped here, I wanted to show you the view again. Look at the view. Spectacular. Even as a place to put your camera so you could take a selfie of yourself behind the rock. We have our little selfie stick. There we go. And we'll keep going. Keep on going up, as they say. Wow, this is nice. See how it goes from the bright inside to the shaded tree area. You have the moss still on the ground. And then tells us to turn left. Like I said, very well marked trail, very well groomed. And we're heading down a bit. The last sign just after the, uh, the drooping rock, it said we were 1800 meters to Carrickfoy Lake. Now we come back to this sign there. Now it's saying Carrickfoy Lake, 1625 meters. Three Rocks uh, Battlefield 2270. And then we just keep going. It's a very handy trail, like I said. Very scenic as well. You can see every once in a while the trees break and you see you can see for miles the different farms and homesteads and the villages down the way. And the mountains and the hills in the background. Very scenic. There's some more people walking their dogs. Dog singular. My world is faster. Came to an intersection where it says live traffic ahead. So we have to watch it. Here's the main road that comes up. So and then there's a sign which way to go. Like I said, very easy. Sign posted. Well marked. Make your way up the top of this paved path. Well, this is hard gravel, but there was paved path a little bit before. You're gonna come to the point where you have to cross over this traffic. You see the little arrow indicating. Like I said, well, well marked. You cross over. And now we're heading towards Carrick Foy Lake, 800 meters. So we're almost there. So as we're walking along the trail, we're coming up to another car park up ahead. You can see there's a gaggle of people coming up. Jeez, out for their Sunday stroll. Jeez, there must be about 30 of them. We're still along the side of this road here, heading towards the uh, Carrickfoyle Lake, which is the quarry. We'll walk around that and then make our way to the towards the 1798 monument. And then down to the Browns, uh, Barrentown Castle. Cross over to Wards, and we'll make our way towards Ferry Carrick. A whole bunch of people walk here. Hi, hey, how are you? Morning, Morning. 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 group of uh, walkers. I noticed a few of them had uh, the same color green hats so say they're a mountain walking group. When I walked on Ben Nevis 
a lot of the people had were involved in different mountaineering groups and stuff. So a lot of them were very seasoned. If you want to watch my Ben Nevis, I have a couple of videos on that. I'm making my way to Scotland and back and all that and climbing Ben Nevis and the day before. So it's very interesting. You see the people there, like there were some people who were a lot older than me, but they were in a lot better shape and they had no problem with the Ben Nevis. I found it challenging enough. Um, we don't have that much hills and you know, it's nice to do a lot of walking, but you also have to do a lot of hills. So that's why I decided to maybe do this trail a little bit more often because the availability of the, the hills, there is some hills. Now they're not big mountains, but and now we're making our way to the Carrickfoil trails. And here's where we're gonna stop and get ourselves a cup of tea or coffee. And I have a donut that Emily brought me from Dublin when she was in Dublin yesterday. And we'll see if that has made it through the trip. So we're gonna come up to the, uh, the coffee trough get a coffee and then go sit over on the benches over there you see you have picnic benches and everything and then we'll resume the trail let's see what we'll have I have water anyways so I just want something to go with the donut partial to a coffee Here we go. Is anyone here? Hello. Hi. What can I get you? Ah, uh, Americano, please. Yeah, of course. How much is that? Three oil. Three. Perfect. Very good. At least it's not raining today. Yeah, that's good. Does a lot of people come here? Yep. Yeah. Uh, today is usually the busiest Sunday. Yeah. Is this here seven days a week or? No, just the weekends. Just on the weekends? Yeah. It's a nice handy walk. It is, yeah. So you have toilets over here, 250 meters. So we'll stop off, sit here, and we'll have a coffee with the donut. And then we'll continue on our way. Now there's two different ways. Uh, forest trail to the right and wake access to the left. So we'll probably go to the left, I don't know, we'll see. Morning. How are you? Good, thank you. Ah, it's nice. Oh, oh you have a nice, you have a nice big spread. I have a coffee and a donut. Is that all? Yeah, it's YouTube. Oh, oh, very good. You want some bread with No, this is fine. Thank you very much. Very nice. Are you vlogging? Yes, I'm vlogging. Welcome to his channel. Yeah. Where are you from? Philippines. Ah, very nice. Yeah. One of the places I want to go to eventually. Oh, you yes. should go. You should. I'm going. I'm going to Nepal in uh, September for a month. Oh, you're so close. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> no, no, I'm good. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Go ahead. We have you in your back. There you go. <laughs> Give us your what do you call that channel. channel. Yeah. Very good, I'll give that to you there. One second, I have a, I have some cards. Ooh, we will follow you, don't worry. No problem. You're from, you're from, you're from, you're from Wexford? Yeah, well, originally from Montreal. Oh, oh. Canada. But I, uh, Canadian. Yeah, but I live in uh, Wexford since 2008. So you're starting okay. in Wexford? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice. It's nice and lovely. It is nice, it's a nice walk. Yeah. yeah. That's a good spread. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Uh, lovely people from the Philippines there. Um, they offered me tons of food. I just <laughs> took a donut and that and uh, I gave my uh, my card for uh, my channel. And like I said, eventually one day I would like to go to the Philippines. It's one of my destinations. So I'll have this there. I'm going to enjoy this and I'll turn it back. Okay, just turned it on. I'm going to introduced you to the lovely people from the Philippines. So Hello. what's your names? Jerry. Jerry. Joy. Joy. Enzo. Enzo. 
Segundo. Segundo? Yeah. Yes. Ah. Aida, Aida from the opera. <laughs> Donna. Donna. Very nice. Yeah. See look at the spread that they brought up them. <laughs> Jeez, that's a lot of food, a lot of food, but very nice. And I hope you enjoy your time in Wexford. Thank you. And uh I thought you were here from where, 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 where you live in Westford. Yeah. Oh yeah, we we're we're neighbors, you know. Sure, we <laughs> <laughs> where do you live? I, we live in we live in Town. Town. Yeah. Oh, very good. Yeah. Have you been here long? No, no. we're from Dublin. Dublin? Originally. Oh, but very good. 23 years in Ireland. <laughs> wow. Yes. Very good. <laughs> very good. But I will go to the Philippines uh, hopefully in the next couple of years. I'm, gonna, I'm retiring in four years. Oh, and that's when I'm gonna travel like more often than that and I'm gonna go you know that's uh, nice yeah but Philippines yeah. is definitely you know I want to go in your list right yeah I want to go to Pakistan India Iran Iran uh, yeah wow. the people the people very are nice, nice food there, there, the people yeah. are very lovely it's just the government is terrible just, yeah, yeah. but the people everyone that I've seen that go there even youtubers they won't even let anyone pay for anything yeah oh, you know food, you're not allowed they, everything they, they nice. said no no you're a guest you're a guest yeah. Oh, yeah. it's just terrible what's happening with their government but the people are lovely so yeah. that's where i go for like you go to meet people you go to you go to like uh poor the poorer culture, areas yeah. and that yeah. the people have less but they give you more yes. whereas that's here true. people have a lot of stuff and it's they want to keep it and they get greedy a bit <laughs> but, but irish, anyways, are, nice irish are very yeah. nice and accommodating yeah. like i said i walked from the Mern town to here so far and every time you meet yeah from and every time somebody sees says hi to you and yeah. that it's yeah. very very friendly yeah well yeah. enjoy your lunch no no i'm good I'm just, I'm just gonna have my coffee there <laughs> okay so just had that coffee and a, a nice chat with the people from the philippines now they live in wexford and dublin now um very nice people good chat they kept on offering me tons of food and I declined it all. I said, nope, I'm in training for getting ready to go to Nepal. But they all said they'll follow and watch and subscribe. So new subscribers. So now we'll just keep on going down this track towards the Carrefour Lake. And I'll show you there's bathrooms here. Might take a bathroom stop after having the coffee. And that's if you wanted to go back to where we had been originally so 145 meters to the lake here's the uh carried foil lake used to be the quarry and there's signs all over the place no swimming or diving or that so could be dangerous See a sign, no swimming, diving, or falling off the cliff. And there's the bathrooms to the left there. We'll continue on this way. Now the sign says keep going that way. Let's go up to the viewpoint here. We'll go up this way. Oops, I think we're going to have a spectacular view coming up. And here we go. you see the cliffs looks like a little beach in the back and then we'll head our way down here there's lovely park benches every once in a while to sit down and relax have a sip of water, maybe assemble, biscuits, 
keep yourself nourished as you walk this route. There's a little doggy. Where's his owner? Wonder if he's lost. Oh, he's limping. He's got a sore leg. His back leg on the left side. <clears throat> and the car's coming. Hello, Hello morning. go and then you see some little ponies coming up or horses so the horses hi, hi how are you going welcome to Arland. and we just continue down this trail there's the signs <clears throat> like I said hard to get lost now we're making our way back towards the 1798 monument. Then we'll head down towards the Barrentown Castle. And then we'll be on the uh, the main road, heading back towards Wexford, crossing over into the Ferry Carrig region. So this is the old house. You can see it. Their new place. And then we'll just continue on. And here we're coming up to the uh, 1798 monument on the left there. You see the tricolor on the flagpole. We'll go up to that and then we continue on down the view. Here's what it looks like around it. So a little car park area, you can park in, do some of the walk, go up to it. Some stones here, you can sit and enjoy your water. You look at the 1798 monument. Camp of the Wexford Army. So there's the map there. And there's what it commemoration was and then there's the, the monument itself you see the bottom of the post it says 1798 on it and then here's where we are and then there's the, the signs again that tells you which way to go so now we'll go out and turn left now you can see the trail well the road gets really narrow here so I wouldn't recommend wearing earbuds or your iPods or whatever to uh, walk along this part because you want to be able to hear if there's any oncoming traffic or traffic behind you so you can try to scoot your way into a side because it is very narrow but you can see it is a quieter road anyways usually when I walk up it I might see one vehicle during the whole time from the main road up to the 1798 monument Now we're walking towards Barrentown Castle. You can see it right there. Let's see if we can get a sneaky look inside. It's 
opened. Let's see if we can get in. The door is open still. It was last week. Yeah, we can get in there. And here's Barrentown Castle. The insides. There's the second floor, third floor. Let's see what goes all the way up. Very interesting. Maybe we can do it. See if that's a shot. And look at the view. You come out of the castle right here, and then you have the whole view in front of you. So imagine on top of the castle, if you can get up to the top, what you would see. You'd really have a dominating view of the area around you. So this is where we're coming into the uh, the main road. So it's just five kilometers to Wexford, 34 to New Ross from here, so, and then Waterford. So obviously we, I'll be taking that road in two weeks, and then you just follow along this path that tells you where to go, and then we walk in towards the city. Okay, now we're coming up to another marker along the trail. And this is the death of uh, Lieutenant Colonel Watson. So, on May 30th, uh, 1798, uh, defeated uh, the Meath Militia at the Three Battle of Rocks. This is a monument reflecting that. And just so you know, here's a sign that says four more kilometers to Wexford. So, you can take this road up to get to the top of uh, top of the hill it'll bring you to the split where it says Carrick Foil and uh, the sign for the Three Rocks Trail so it's not the, the main route but there is another alternative way to get up to the top or to come down from the top you say there's a sign that says you can get up to the Three Rocks Trail so now we just keep on going so as you come to the roundabout you have to keep your wits about you so if you see I crossed over uh, in the street the uh, when there was no traffic, but you see the sign over there to here. So we cross over here. We'll go to the same thing there, cross over, and then we're back onto to the Three Rocks Trail. So when you come to the roundabout, you just have to follow the signs and uh, keep looking uh, to your right when you're crossing the traffic way. First and then left, and then we'll continue on. So now we just exit off the roundabout. Now we're continue on following the signs on the Three Rocks Trail. We're going to go first off, we're going to stop off at the uh, Ferry Carrig Graveyard, or the Carrig Graveyard, sorry. And then we're going to continue on up a little hill and there's a couple more viewpoints to see. And then we're making our way towards the Ferry Carrig Castle and that's where we'll conclude the walk. don't know if you can make it out there but right where I'm pointing there's a pillar there that's Crimean War Monument it was erected for the Irish wives that were killed in the Crimean War against Russia okay so watch this space we're gonna come right back here here's where it forks off a bit so you continue on the trail that way but it tells you to go to the Carrig graveyard which is not far it's just down here on the right. So you'd come down, go to the Carrick, and then get back, and we'll go back up that trail up towards the, the big farmhouse up there at the top of the hill. It's not far. You can see the, uh, the sign for the Carrick graveyard right there. Now if the gate's closed, there is those steps that you can take on the uh, left of it. Now, my very first vlog was on this part of the uh, Three Rocks train, my very first video, so it's very raw. 
my editing wasn't a hundred percent there but there's some interesting story there's one i met a local fella and he told me a great story so watch that vlog i'll leave the description at the bottom if you want to watch it so here's the carrot graveyard now basically it's 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 a memory for all those who died in the 1798 uh, rebellion a lot of the insurgents are buried here so we'll go up and down these rock steps and we'll walk to the end there the graveyard we'll take these steps again they're handy and this is where your man told me the story he was sitting here and he told me about this British colonel was buried here supposedly and they wanted to repatriate his body back to Canada but when they opened the grave there was no body in it because the locals didn't want because in that hill here there's mostly um, the fallen rebels from 1798 are buried and they didn't want him buried in the same graveyard so rumor is that they dug up the body and they threw him off into the woods somewhere not to be seen with the rebels from 1798 so here's the little graveyard it's a nice little graveyard well worth the walk and now we'll just carry on our merry way back towards uh, the Carrick village and then we'll get to Ferry Carrick Hotel a uh, Ferry Carrick uh, castle which is right beside the Ferry Carrick Hotel okay so that was the graveyard now we're back on the trail after that cross so we're making our way up towards the farm okay here we're coming up to the uh, the Carrig uh, village um, the lost village of Carrick lost town of Carrick actually so this is where it was they're doing excavation on it so there used to be small little village located here and you see right in the background right there that's the Crimean War monument so the lost town of Carrick um, it was uh, 1169 it was founded so there's a little picture of it watch the bird poop and here's where we are now almost to the end point we're heading towards the Ferry Carrick Castle this is a little windy path as we walk down towards the Slaney River, which feeds into Wexford Town, and then towards, you know, Ferry Carrig, uh, Ferry Bank, and uh, towards Kirkwall Beach, and then to Rosslair. So it goes all the way out into the, the water there. As we're walking down this little loopy, narrow road, and then you can see to the left right there, there's the Ferry Carrig. Uh, castle and there's the Slaney River and like I said the Ferry Carrick Hotel is located right beside the Ferry Carrick Castle and it should come into our glimpse right now there it is you can see it in the distance it's along the, uh, the motorway there now we'll just continue on down till we get to the water now we're just along the waterway. You can see the Ferry Carrick Castle right there. We'll be going up to where the door is and taking a break up there as we finish the vlog. You can see right in front of us the uh, Crimean War Monument up there. Now there is a way to get up there. There's steps. You can get up there if you wanted to see it. The viewpoint up there, but I don't think you can get up to the top. So if you continued on that way, that's the bridge you would take to head towards in Escorty and the direction towards Dublin. As we wind down, ending this vlog, please make sure you uh, like, hit the bell button for the knowledge of when I have new posted videos, and don't forget to subscribe. It helps grow the channel. It helps the algorithms. Channel's going really well. Thanks to everyone that's subscribed so far. And we have lots of view time and that, so 
hopefully you like it. If you have any suggestions of places you want me to go and vlog, please leave comments or hit me up in a message on uh, Instagram. The, my Instagram channel is the same name, Celtic Nick Walks. Same thing with uh, TikTok or on Facebook, you can find me. So now we'll just walk across the bridge and we'll get to the Ferry Carrick Castle. Okay, we just crossed the bridge and then we're at the bottom, the foot of the Ferry Carrick Castle. We'll make our way up and we'll conclude the vlog there once we get there. Just to let you know, it's 12 o'clock on the button. The, uh, the sign at the beginning said it takes three and a half to four hours, but your man with his two strong legs, just like Dale Phillips usually says, was able to make it in three hours. So fair play to me. It's a really nice walk. I recommend it to anyone if they're in the Wexford area and you have a couple of hours to spare, get outdoors for free. You get to see what's around you. There's the Crimean monument there as we walk up these steps to the top of the castle. And there's the view from here. Your man made it to the top. And here's the castle up there. Now it's time for a glass of water and maybe the donut that Emily got me. So signing off. Have a good day.